The United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, has slammed the war in Ukraine as unacceptable. He says it's an absurdity in the 21st century. The UN chief is in Kyiv for talks with President Volodymyr Zelensky to help broker peace and to facilitate the evacuation of civilians from the war-torn country. Mr. Guterres has visited towns around the capital that suffered serious damage while under Russian occupation. They include Borodyanka, Bucha and Irpin, where Russian forces were accused of killing civilians. This horrific scenario demonstrates something that is unfortunately always true. The civilians always pay the highest price. Innocent civilians were living in these buildings. They were paying the highest price for a war for which they had not contributed at all. John Gambrell joins us live now from Lviv. John, Mr. Guterres, they're saying that civilians have paid the highest price. He's called the war evil while still being careful with his words, though. What's on the agenda for talks with the uh, Ukrainian president? One thing that does seem to be a, a matter of focus for uh, Guterres as he's here is the ongoing uh, Russian besiegement of the port city of Mariupol. You may remember that there's a steel mill there where there are fighters and civilians deep inside a labyrinth of tunnels that are built to withstand airstrikes. This is a Soviet era massive facility there that has been just the target of repeated airstrikes and uh, other missile strikes in the last couple of days. Now, uh, Guterres had talked to uh, Russian President Vladimir Putin, and among the topics they discussed was potentially opening a corridor so people inside of the steel plant who wanted to leave could leave. Now, this has been a point of contention. Russia, a few days ago, had said they were willing to have a truce to stop firing, but Ukraine had rejected it, saying they didn't trust the Russians and putting the impetus on the international community, including the United Nations and the Red Cross, to come up with a way to find a safe corridor. John, meantime, there are these growing hints from Ukrainian officials themselves that they may be willing to strike inside Russia itself, or perhaps that they already have. What more can you tell us about that? It's really interesting. There have been a series of somewhat mysterious explosions just across the border into Russia from Ukraine. Now, Russia itself hasn't really acknowledged this. There was an ammunition dump the other day that caught fire. There were explosions that were heard by residents there. And there's also been two fuel depots in the last couple of weeks that also have gone up in flames with explosions. Now, while the Ukrainians haven't really acknowledged carrying out these strikes, an advisor yesterday did say that these attacks could be considered, quote, karma for the ongoing Russian attacks targeting infrastructure in Ukraine. One thing to keep in mind is that Ukraine does have the ability to launch these kind of attacks. It still appears to have attack helicopters that could fly into that Russian territory. And perhaps otherwise, it could be using these Turkish-made drones that they've had great success with during the campaign to fly in and drop a missile or a bomb and then fly back out undetected. John, thank you for that update. John Gambrell there reporting for us from Lviv.